Coming up, we're heading to the Kenosha Bowman for the Johnny G traditional archery shoot. I'm Dean Romano, it's time for Outdoor Wild. In just a few moments, we're going to join Jack Barber, Steve Hennessy of the Kenosha Bowman Range, and uh, we're going to be going on a traditional Johnny G shoot. Okay. Start off with the brush, follow the blue arrows, and you get full strength. whole idea will come up to a string there will be a ribbon on it that will tell us that we should start looking for the target and then there will be a ribbon at the end which indicates that we stop you can stop and take a shot anytime but you can't come backwards so, so if, there, you, if you walk past the shot you're out of luck okay oh okay all right sounds good so like like right now, Steve's getting up through the string. He knows that pretty soon, when he sees that first ribbon, okay, he starts looking for his target and the shot. Okay, now just so our folks know a little bit here, this uh, you guys are doing uh, target shoot, correct? 3D uh, target shoot. 3D target shoot. Target uh, field tips, correct? Field tips. Yeah. And, uh, just so folks know, Jack, can we show them? Sure. We are not doing, broadheads are the ones with the blades for the hunt. Right. These are the field tips, and this is what, what they're using today for these, this target shoot here at Kenosha Bowman Range. Right. I'm shooting a longbow. Yep, and Steve? I have a Hungarian horse bow. That is really neat. It isn't it? That's really neat, yeah. Any any traditional bow is allowed here. Any traditional bow. Recurve, longbow, that, the, you know. Right. And just so folks know, they still come out with compounds and everything for practice, but this is, yes, this is a, a, tra a traditional shoot. A traditional shoot. Excellent. Now if you can get in line with him and you'll see the target down. Okay, actually I'll get my camera on as well. He's walking through it now. If you look, you'll see a, a bear target. And he's got a real tiny opening here. You can see right down that line. Okay. You see the target back there? Oh yeah, it's got a little window to shoot you, kind of like you would if you were hunting. Interesting. And then there may be even another shot. See, he's moving down the line. He's not backing up at all. Here's another shot that I'll take. This one is through a little bit more trees. As you come, if, you, if, if those shots weren't taken, and yet you come here, 
you'll find that 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 you have no shots here and then right here you probably have a wide open shot so this would probably be the best shot the easiest shot but you don't know that till you get here and once you step past this ribbon you're not allowed to shoot anymore right so then we put the bow up and we go get our arrows Basically, that's a 10 yard shot. That's a 10 yard shot, okay. you know? Um, but it, it, it's a natural shot. Right. Through, the, through the woods, you pick your little hole to get through. Your, uh, so, this is about as close as you can uh, assimilation to okay. actually spot and stalking okay. in, in the woods that you're going to get as a practice. Okay. Yeah. So, do you want to do one more target? Sure. Okay. You can go ahead. All right. Same thing. Right. Follow the arrow. That arrow points us this direction. There's a string. Once I get to here, I start looking for a shot. Here. And there is one here. This is some arrows back here. This is some arrows hanging in the tree down here. Oh, that's a river. Oh, that's the river. One shot. There's another shot right here. And I like this little one right here. Do a little bit of stuff, but I can see the tip of where that other arrow went. Right in the end. It's a little far forward. Not happy with it. So one. Yes. All right. I'm going to try to squeeze this one between here and that tree. So the degree of difficulties of shots is all up to the, the particular the, archer. Yeah, sure. The idea is, is uh, as you're walking, you may see a small window like this. Right. You may think that there's something bigger and easier to shoot at, and then you walk and you find out it's not. Okay. So it forces you to make a decision whether or not you want to take that shot or risk it. Yeah. Well, these are some nice targets you guys got out here. These are uh, Reinhardt targets. So Reinhardt we found yeah. seems to be about the best on the market. Good. You know. Yeah, um, great. I think Mr. Wheeler's in charge of the target. Yes. He still? Oh, yeah, okay. And he does a great job of repairs or ordering yeah. parts we need to rebuild them. Yeah. Well, Bob, he's uh, he's uh, been in the archery for many, a well, like a lot of us. Yeah. Many, many, many years. So that's phenomenal. Great. Is that enough, or do you want? Uh, I think we got enough. You guys want one more shoot? Should we get one more? Or what do you think? Okay, okay, let's do one more. We'll go to the next one. Steve's got honors. That's really nice. This range is set up. There's not really any. Part of the shot we got is about 25. Okay. I believe we have a bear here. Or is this the pig? Three little pigs. I'm not sure. It's a bear.
And then who we have? This one's going to be through a lot of foliage. And sometimes what Steve and I'll do as we go through, we'll challenge each other. Hey, what do you think of this? Think you can get one through there? And we'll do it. That's always fun. It backfired on me yesterday with Steve because I picked a really tough shot oh, yeah. thinking he'd never make it through there and I let him shoot first. Yeah. Well then once he did it I had to too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Yeah it looks like it. Definitely. It's fun to challenge each other. Yeah. The setup for this took us three afternoons to do this. No, I can believe that. Because it's normally you would have your regular lane, uh, shooting lanes off the path with target butt. Okay. So here we go through here, we pick the uh, area we want to go and boom. Look at we got all three of these. Are, even this one's a good, good kill shot. Yeah, those are good shots. Yep. Yep. And that's your goal to practice that. So we we will like here there was just all foliage. Yeah. So we we picked the spots that we want to put a target here. Sure. Then we have to create shooting lanes. Yep. We have to create a path to get your in and out to get your arrow. And then we have to think about the location of the next target so we're not shooting into a target With that someone, we just yeah, left. we left. We don't want to shoot towards right. it's safety first. That's what right. the goal is. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yep. Now this th what we're on right now, this never had targets on it before. This right. is oh, cut this in brand new. Oh no for oh, this really? year. Yes, yeah. it's completely we so changed next it. Year, next year we'll we'll pick we'll pick a different area of of yeah. our uh we don't want club. people to come through yeah. and do the same shoot every single time like in a lot of yeah a lot of shoots are that way. Yeah. This is brand spanking new. That's yeah. nice. Okay. You guys did yeah. a phen phenomenal job. Yeah, it, it's enjoy. Steve and I enjoy setting it up. Yeah. yeah. We really do. We have as good a time setting it up as we do shooting it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know. We we even we yeah. We we put a lot of thought into it, and and, and we're particular with where we put a target. It, there there are certain parameters that must be met. Yeah. Different different target sites require different size animals too correct yeah. so we yeah. will run across if you were to go through here you run across where there's little foliage okay we're putting in a bed of deer or we're putting okay. uh, a, a coyote or something yeah, or small or something yeah, that right. fits in good with the terrain okay. we go through steve this time steve wrote down as we went through we set the string up first with the ribbons we had an idea we set a ribbon up tied it onto here too because we knew we wanted to put the target here right that was the first day we went through and just did that and uh trimmed the path in oh wow the second day steve come out and put the targets up okay okay took the ribbon off here we don't want people seeing a ribbon and knowing where to shoot right. and just left the target there okay. and then did brushing out of the little holes that we want to shoot at right you know? it's a lot of work for you two guys but it's yeah, fun it, it takes it. four guys and yeah. Yeah. four guys to do it right okay. and they work really good as a team four people yeah. seem to be the right number for us yeah. Uh, well, to yeah. be a member of the range now, you guys always take your memberships, right? And yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Yep. And uh, what, what are the rules and regulations for that? And well, you know the cost? fee in it. Right. Um, the fee. But you got to put 20 hours of work in a year. A year, which is right. nothing. Which is a shoot. Yeah. You right. work one shoot one week and you're done. Yeah. Right. You know? It's, uh, well, I, 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 it's, we have, there's a $100 initiation, one time initiation, 125 we Okay, just one. Yeah. One time. Okay. If, if you leave, uh, if you don't re-up the club, but you leave in good standing, and then you want to come back and, and rejoin, yeah. that you don't have to pay that. Yeah. If you leave and you're not in good standing, then you actually have a couple year year period before you could rejoin, okay. and then you have to pay that initiation okay. fee again. Yeah. Then it's a uh, hundred and five dollars a year yeah. uh, dues, dues. and you. then twenty five dollars uh, to go to the uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin Bowl Hunter Association group. Well, that sounds nice because it's we a good are organization to join. Yeah, to do that. We, we want to be a 101 
percent what the they call a 101 percent club right and and that money goes to the to the to the Wisconsin Bull Hunter Association, which is the only lobbyist we have, yeah. the archery world has for anything, yeah. and and we need to support that. So. Absolutely, and they give they give out uh, three or four magazines a right. year right. with all the shoots that everybody like we're a member of them. We we list our shoots with them, and it's posted right. in that magazine right. in the middle. It's it's a great book to right. have. It's my favorite magazine. I get the whole year. Yeah. Mm. Because when I travel up north, if I can find another shoot on my way up or on my way back, right. I stop and, and right. do it. Right. Okay. Well, would get, you guys be interested? Maybe we'll I'll look into that. Maybe we could do some work with them. Yep. Absolutely. Get them out there. Yep. So that yeah, really sounds like a great organization. Yeah. They are. They're always they're fantastic. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys got you know I've talked about it for years because I'm always busy with everything you know but uh, I'm. You're talking to my wife. I would be interested in joining this. Yeah. You know. It, well, you you have we have four off we have forty two acres. Yeah. That you can that you can camp and do whatever you want. Uh, we have well within our guidelines. Right. We have four outdoor <laughs> ranges. We right. have two outdoor practice ranges. We have a, a a tower that we can that you can practice off of. Uh, we have a twenty four uh, twenty four lane indoor range which uh, uh, you have access to um, and every every membership is a family membership yeah so you when you come in you bring in your whole family and there's there's things to do that you don't necessarily have to just be an archer if you want to bring your family in on the weekend and camp on the weekend and give a, get a get a real quick shot of the outdoors you can do that. Yeah. You can do that anytime you want to do that. If you want to just come in and do a nature walk yeah. through the woods, Absolutely. you can do that. Yeah. So we're not uh, we're not geared to just j just uh, uh, bow hunting. And okay. as a matter of fact, I would say fifty percent or better of our membership is not bow hunters. Oh, okay. There are, so there, there there's, are there's, uh, we're a very ver uh, Diverse club, mm -hmm. so we have we have compound shooters who are spot shooters who are are, are NFAA members who that's all they shoot is spot targets. They have okay. all the big fancy uh, equipment. We have compound bull hunters. We have traditional uh, uh, archery guys as Jack and myself. I, and and. I would say our traditional part of it is probably less than five percent of the club. Probably. Yet I'm the president. Yeah. So we're very diverse, different, yeah. different uh, Which is uh, good ranges idea. of uh, uh, careers. We have sure. doctors, lawyers, and we have plumbers. You know, okay. so it, it's a really it's it's a really good club. We do a lot of different things for community things. Matter of fact, in June 18th, yeah. we're having our ninth or eighth uh, year where we do a benefit to help a needy family. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. yes, I'm yes. going to probably yeah. follow up with you guys, of course. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to talk to you about the membership. Yeah, I'll I'll talk to my wife because yeah. I, I think she would love this. I mean, yeah. you don't have to shoot if you don't shoot. No. Of course, she loves archery. Right. Yeah. She she might not like to hunt, but she loves right. archery. It's like right. well, you don't have to hunt. No, you know? no, yeah. you don't. Every so often, we'll have a little potluck dinner out here where yep, people yep. just come and bring what they want, and it's a good way for us all to get right. together and uh, kind of see each other and, and sure. you know, yeah. feel yeah. the camaraderie of the club a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. Right. You know? It's wonderful. We yeah. want the families involved. Yeah. We want right. everybody to get family, uh, We have Christmas parties. That's yeah, great. We do. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're a very family-orientated yeah. club yeah. because, we, we number one, we realize that if you don't have the family, you pretty much don't have anything. So. Right. Your club's right. going to die out fast. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, bringing, getting kids involved and stuff is wonderful, too. Right. Well, we Not have archery. We, that's the other thing. We have archery classes for the youth. Yeah. And it's actually a family archery. We call it family archery because you you bring your child in and you actually go through the through the course with them. That's yeah, really wonderful. And we have Genesis Bowls. So oh. you don't you don't even need to have equipment to take yeah. this class. That's great. So if, if your son or daughter has an inkling, comes up to you and say, "Hey, 
<clears throat> I like to learn how to shoot a bow. But you don't want to go out and spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on a bow. Yes, you can yes. get in this class. You can buy you we you can use our equipment and then you can see if, if your child or even you would would be interested in following through. So there's a we're pretty we're more than just bow hunters. It's a and, good thing. I'm sure a lot of people when they you know read a name Bowman Club, yeah. in this case Kenosha Bowman Club, they're not for certain. But sharing this right. information is, is great yeah, to bring exactly. to the public. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, there's a lot of good things about this club, as, yeah. a, as well as other archery clubs around right. the area. Yeah. You know, it, a lot of people get blind to the fact that it's, uh, they think it's just all about hunting and killing. And, no, not the case. Not the case. Like Steve yeah. said, most of the people just do target, right. do yeah. target archery. Right. But you can come out here anytime. When you're a member, and there's always someone here that's willing to help. Right. Someone right. that knows the most about archery. Yeah. Their style of archery. Like if they wanted to approach Steve or I about traditional archery, we're always happy to help. Mr. Wheeler's great at teaching the people with the compounds he's, and stuff like phenomenal. that. He knows the equipment inside and out. And he, there's a bunch of guys that will just pitch in and help right. out at the drop of a hat. Uh, we do have broadhead shoots. I was just going to go to that. And then See that bale or uh, that backstop in the dirt? The target hangs down into the dirt area. Okay. And you shoot through there, but that 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 thick rubber belting, the broadheads won't go through that very right. far. Right. So the arrow won't go through it. But that's designed for broadhead. For we do a broadhead shoot in the fall, yes. so people can warm up, get the broadheads flying, ready, ready for, for them, the, and they're the ready for the hunt. season. Correct. It's a uh, Hungarian. One of the Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. The rise around it. Yeah. Isn't it thing? Very nice. I put OSH tips on too. You like it? Mm -hmm. okay. That's nice. Nice looking ball. This one? Yeah. Oh, oh one I just nice. turned out on Wednesday. You did it? doesn't even have any finish on it yet. Yeah. It's homemade. Yeah. That's a south ball. Yeah, that's uh, a yeah, really uh, cool. Uh, well, what yeah, kind of wood do you got? White oak. White oak. What type of wood you make that? White oak. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going for a lower pound or something. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I just made it Wednesday, so it's uh, not even. So now finish he on shoots off the shelf with his hand. Yeah, I shoot off this side. Really? Yeah. When I shoot my horse bows, I shoot off my knuckle. Yeah, yeah. I shoot I'd like right to see yeah, I don't. I, I just use fingers. Yeah, if you're if you're hanging around back there when I come out, I'll bust out one of the horse bows from the car and show you how it works. Cool. Cool. You yeah. don't mind being on camera, do you? No. Looks like I already am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, that's fine. Yeah. That's all right. All right. Oh, good. 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 This is a it's a sonic. That's a Korean style. Yeah, okay. Do some jaws on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. That's the nice thing about traditional archery. You see a lot of different I know, things. Yeah. They're all yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. All kinds of good stuff. To yeah. talk different about. styles yeah. people shoot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some guys shoot, I shoot split. Some guys shoot three under. Right. You're shooting thumb relays. Mm -hmm. Oh. I got to see that. That's got to be cool. That's got to be cool, yeah. Yep. Now, do you do split? Oh, yeah. I do split on this, yeah. Okay. Now, I've been a thumb ring shooter for about eight years, so I'm just learning how to shoot three fingers now. Mm -hmm. right. Are you guys doing this first target right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're gonna. Yeah, right. mind we, me. It's gonna be bad. I don't want to be on TV shooting poorly. <laughs> well, we'll cut that part out. Okay. I just want right, to see right, your right, style right, here. Sure. That's okay. Sure. Yeah. We you understand that. how the string shoot works? Yes. Yeah. She's awesome. So we got the whole. We got the whole string right here to shoot the bear. Yes. Correct. Right. Yep. We're just thinking on our shot. Right. right. And I say, he's hard to do. What's your name? My name's Dan. Dan. I'm Dean. What's your name, buddy? Henry. Henry. Nice to meet you. Over here. Thank you guys yeah, for coming out to our shoot. Yeah, it's our pleasure. I'm happy to go anywhere with this archery bow. Awesome. Yeah. You see how he's got? He's resting that arrow right on his finger. Right. That's a tree. That's okay. That that's was right. really cool. I've never I seen. It. I haven't seen it. I mean, that's how it used to be. Yeah, oh, yeah. Years ago, that's how it was. They were better than I was. Though. Wow. <laughs> you know, riding a horse, shooting buffalo, of course, buffalo yeah, are bigger. Right. You go. Oh, that's a yeah. pretty good go. hit. All right. Neck. Henry? Yeah. Now this this is the thumb cut style really. This is is. I've never style. really seen this before. No, that's that's what I'm interested in. Yeah. Yep. You shoot off the other side of the bow then, huh? Yep. Okay. That is really cool. Fast. Very fast. Yeah, it's a quick bow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, show me how the thumb thing works. You know, twist into the bow. Yeah. Show me how you're so um 
you wrap your thumb around here, mm -hmm. and then I use my other finger to stabilize it. And when I draw, I draw back to about my ear. Yeah? And you just relax the thumb. Yeah, and then just release. Mm -hmm. with Very that, cool. Uh, with that draw, you're putting a little bit of twist into your hand towards the arrow. So okay. that works. So you can keep the arrow on the bow and tilt. Mm -hmm. Oh, because you're holding it because it's on the yeah, gun. Yeah, it's just on this side of torques. Yeah. Yeah. Torques the string as well. You're working okay. it in the other direction now? So you can lean over this way and the arrow don't fall. Yeah, oh, okay. so right. I actually cant the bow a little bit. Yeah. And I use my finger to prevent the arrow from falling over. Man, I've cool. been doing traditional archery for a long time. It's the first time I've ever seen that. It's really right, rare. Right, it's cool. Very cool, guys. Very cool. cool. People shooting All right. Rings. Awesome. All right, thank you very much. Just love our arrows. Thank, thank you very much. Hey, Appreciate it. Hey, man. You've got a shop on your stuff. Yeah, That's I a do. popular bow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, blueprint that he originally drew for that kid's book in 2202. Yeah, JG. JG, this, is, uh, this is the original blueprint for these so, kids' books. Here. Okay, yeah. let's look at them. So, okay, so Johnny. This he, is his design. Okay, yeah. Johnny G is what the shoot is all about. Right, the Johnny right. G shoot, this is traditional shoot, right. right? All master crappers. Right. That was Johnny G's company. 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 And this is. This is his well, yeah, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Now, is his, his company still going? No. no it's he not. Passed it, away. Ended, he passed it ended it. with him. Okay. Another no, another uh, art uh, bowler bought his rights. Oh. Okay, so the, this name is still in existence, but it's under, it, it's it's moved from Waukegan, it's now in Michigan. And, I see. Yes. See, these are, are the, actually a crafter, which was the original owner of Old Master Crafters. Okay. Uh, Papa John's design. Wonderful. These two. And this one here. Here's one strung up, but this is... Uh, that's nice. That's the one I was shooting outside. This is the one you were shooting. Yeah. 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 It's really nice. It's okay if I don't draw a fire. Yeah. Dry fire? Yeah. And never dry fire a bow. That's something people shouldn't know. <laughs> if they ever draw a bow back, never dry fire. That one's only 40 pounds. That's okay. At 28. It's very, very nice. <laughs> so, yeah. But, Mm -hmm. so, and there's a reason not to dry fire a bow. Oh, you should know the reason for that, I guess. Let's educate them for just a minute. That uh, that, that can uh, hurt the limbs, correct? Right. It uh, the uh, kinetic energy. Okay. Without the arrow, the arrow absorbs all the ki uh, kinetic energy. Okay. If you were to dry fire it, the limbs will now absorb it, and then you can get a crack. Yeah, very well could damage the bow. Very right. easily. Okay. In fact, probably would. Probably would. Probably would. Probably, probably, would. Would. probably yeah. would. Especially on a heavier bow. Right. 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 Yes. All right. So, it, so John. These are just some old archery patches I picked up at shoots and stuff. And these are actually pretty vintage ones here. We were just talking about the Wisconsin uh, Bow Hunter Association too. We need to get in on some of that. That's a, that's yeah. a big thing. Yeah, this is the patch. The pins going back to 1962. Wow. To 72. <laughs> been around for a while. Been around, yes. yes. And they have. Yeah. They, and yeah. they've been yeah. a big ad, ad, uh, advocate for the outdoorsmen. Well, one honorable thing here for me today is I'm with Jim Muller. Yeah. 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 Your father in law. Right. Was the president with Rick right. They were presidents yeah. of this range. Yeah. Uh, my uncle Art DeBork, who's mm -hmm. passed, uh, was also a member of this range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, a great thing to be able right. to yeah. right. share, share today with the public. Yeah. I really like. Being with Mike is, is phenomenal for us. We got high def shooting right. now. We're online. We're getting all over the place. Right. Cool. And people are liking the show, and that's good. Yeah. That's what we need. Yep. That's exactly what we need.